Hey guys, Gokusam for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, we'll be going through Route 4 and making it to Cerulean City, and looking around there, we'll also uh, do a little battle at the end of the episode. So anyways, once you make it on Mount Moon, and you come over here, you'll find two trainers. Now, they're not actual trainers, they teach your Pokemon both Mega Kick and Mega Punch. This one, Mega Kick, this trainer... Uh, Mega Punch. Now, I can't learn Mega Punch or Mega Kick on any of my Pokemon, so I'm not actually gonna talk to them. But if you want to go ahead and do that, it's a pretty strong normal move at this part in the game. So I do recommend giving it to one of your Pokemon, mostly if you have a Mankey or something. Now, if you come up here, you could get a TM for Roar, TM05. Um, there's really nothing else you can do in this route. That's really all you can do. We can't fight that trainer because we uh, aren't able to reach her. We have to use Surf and... Uh, walk down there after but we don't have surf at the moment so once you make into cerulean city before i actually go heal up i'll show you guys a few things you can actually do now if you come into this house over here you could actually do a trade with one of these people in here one of the old people he'll trade you a poly or you'll have to trade him a poly world for jinx now i don't really recommend doing this jinx is a good pokemon a good ice type and psychic type but in my opinion poliwhirl uh polyrath poly toad way better pokemon um it's not too hard to get them you just use a water stone and a king's rock water stone for polyrath and then uh a king's king's rock for poly toad but anyways after you go ahead and trade up your pokemon if you really want to do that come over to this house over here and you're actually able to grab a rare candy which is quite nice uh this rare candy is actually pretty useful they do bring your Pokemon up by one level and even can revive you if you uh, need to do that. But really, people just use them for levels. Now, that's pretty much it in Cerulean City. There's really nothing else you can do. Uh, the rest of the houses, there's random people and stuff. If you come into here, you actually aren't able to get a bike just yet. Um, I'll just show you guys what happens when you come in here. So if you talk to this guy right here, he'll ask you to buy a bike for $1 million dollars. Which obviously isn't possible because you're only able to get $999,000. So really you can't do that. You have to come back and give him a bike voucher. And anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit after I heal up my Pokemon and get some items. Okay guys, I am back and we're actually going to go do that battle now. And I did some level grinding as well when I got some items and healed up. Um, Robin only went up level though because that's really all we need. Now, if you guys are a guest or something, because you've already played this game, we're going to battle our rival once again for our third battle against him. And he actually has a few Pokemon on his team this time. He has a Pidgeotto, which is level 17, an Abra, which is level 16, and a Rattata, which is level 15. Um, his starter is his other Pokemon as well, but it just changes on which starter you chose. Um, no other Pokemon on his team change. Now, this Pidgeotto is actually going to be the hardest thing that we're going to go through in this battle. Um... I'm just going to use Fury Attack at the beginning, and if we don't get lucky, like we're only going to get two hits and stuff, I'm going to switch over. He can miss a tackle, that's good for us though, but I am going to switch over to Peck if we uh, keep getting bad RNG right here. We got some pretty decent at the beginning, that's for sure, but I'm just going to go for Pecks now, because I don't really trust that my Robin's going to be able to actually hit these Fury Attacks that he needs. And we're also going to heal up here, because... Um, this is going to be the hardest Pokemon to actually go through on his team besides the starter, but Light Bulb can easily take care of him by just putting him to sleep. But yeah, this is pretty much the hardest Pokemon we're going to go through, and I need to take him out with Robin. I'm not confident that my uh, Ivysaur will be able to actually do something to him. Now, hopefully, oh, we're not going to outspeed. He's going to go for that quick attack. I always forget that the computer is actually smart sometimes and goes for that, but it doesn't really matter. Light bulb should be able to take him out from here. I'm actually going to go for a sleep powder. We do hit it, which is super nice. And the reason I went for this is because we aren't actually going to take him out with a vine whip right here. So uh, we need two, two turns to actually be able to hit this. So vine whip number one, not going to take him out, but the second one should. He is still going to be asleep for this turn because sleep does, does last for three turns at least. So Vine Whip, it's not, gonna, it's not gonna miss there, and we're gonna take out the Pidgeotto. Now, I'm pretty sure he sends out his uh, starter against me, or yeah, he's gonna send out his starter. So if you have your starter out, he's gonna send out his starter. That's pretty much how this uh, whole RNG thing works. Or not RNG, just how the computer's really made, and we're gonna miss the Sleep Powder. Okay, Light Bulb, hit it this time. Oh, it looks like we're in a speed tie. Charmander's a pretty fast Pokemon. Um, compared to Ivysaur, but we're gonna hit the sleep this time, which is nice. 
going to be able to actually set up Leech Seed. And yes, I am setting up Leech Seed here. I know, probably should just be going for attacks, but I need the extra damage here and there. Uh, I'm not really 100% prepared for the spell, and the reason why is because I didn't want to catch my other Pokemon just yet. I could have caught it before Mount Moon, but I wanted to wait a little bit, because I wanted to train up my other two Pokemon first. Now, that's fine that he's going to go for a Growl. Um, Vine Whip is a special move in Gen 3, so it doesn't really matter to me. And we're going to be getting this double damage from Vine Whip and also Leech Seed right here, which is nice. So I'm actually going to go for another Sleep Powder because he's going to be... And we're going to miss again! Ivysaur, come on man, hit these Sleep Powders. But he's going to keep going for uh, Ember here. He's even going to get a burn. I think that's like a 10% chance or something. Uh, the burn's not really going to matter because we do have Leech Seed up. So that burn damage that we're going to be taking is going to be uh, pretty much equal to our... Leech Seed health that we're getting back as well. Now hopefully, Light Bulb. Bruh, you're gonna miss another Sleep Powder. That's honestly fine, I'm not too worried. We still have another Super Potion in the back and um, I'm not actually gonna take the risk of going for another one because he might win the Speed Tie again. So we're gonna heal up with a Super Potion right here. That's our last one. We still have some potions in the back if we really need to, but unless he uh, gets some crits here and there or Maybe uh, we miss a few more sleep powders. I think that's really fine. Honestly, I think going for a vine whip was actually smarter. So I'm just going to go for that. Actually, I'm going to go for a bullet seed. Um, I'm confident that bullet seed can maybe take him out if we get five shots or maybe even three. We're even gonna, we are even going to get that leech seed health back as well. So he should die from this right here. Uh, we are going to take burn damage, of course, but we should live with like one HP or four even. Um, that's good. And he's going to be taking down my leech, se leech Seed. So those were the two Pokemon that I was like super worried about in this whole battle. The last two is Abra mostly. Only uses Teleport. So do whatever you want in this little battle against this Pokemon right here. You don't really need to worry about anything. So I'm just going to heal up with some potions here and there. Just because Light Bulb is our last Pokemon. And we can't exactly take our risks against his Rattata with low HP. Mostly because we're also burnt as well. So we're going to be taking chip damage. Uh, which isn't good for us. So I'm just going to sit here and heal up with as much potions as I have. I think I have three if I'm not mistaken. Maybe four. I'm going to use one more. Just because I do want that full health against that Rattata battle. I do, do not want to lose my Pokemon just yet. Now, Rattata is pretty strong strong Pokemon on his team. Uh, it runs Quick Attack, I'm pretty sure, Tackle, and then um, Tail Whip, so... It's not like it's too threatening, but still, I do recommend healing up before you actually go into that last Pokemon. Or even if you have two Pokemon left and you just set it to his Abra. Just allow him to teleport on you and you could go ahead and set up whatever the heck you want. Now, we're going to go for another Vine Whoop right here. Get a critical hit. I don't think that mattered, but still rubbing in his face. Got that KO on that Abra. Almost going to go up to level 2. And he's going to send out his last Pokemon here. Now, I'm honestly just going to go for a Sleep Powder. If we miss, we miss. But I don't think Quick Attack is going to be doing that much damage. And we're going to get it off. Nice. Now, I'm going to be able to actually set up... A leech seed which I actually want to do here um, this is gonna be our strategy against this thing hopefully we don't miss this leech seed because I really kind of need it to hit and we're gonna hit it nice that is good for us um, we don't have to waste another turn actually I don't think tackle will do that much damage I'm qu pretty sure he'll just go for a quick attack uh, because of the see I don't want to take the risk really do we have any more potions we have one more I'm gonna actually go for this last potion here um, we are going to be doing damage this turn, so that's fine with me, and gain some health back. But he's going to go for a quick attack. Now, I'm pretty sure Burn might have killed us there. Maybe not after Leech Seed, but never wanted to take the risk. Even if he got a crit or something, uh, don't want to die from critical hits and Pokemon. Now, I'm just going to go for Vine Whips here at this point. He's going to keep using quick attack, which is fine with me. And he's going to go down for one Vine Whip. Nice. So, we beat our rival with our... Pretty much, we used our Robin, that's for sure, but Light Bulb beat all the Pokemon that uh, should have pretty much won against him. Now, I said I was gonna actually do his last episode, but he never learned Razor Leaf. I am gonna get rid of Bold Seed now because Bold Seed isn't really useful. Um, Razor Leaf is way better to run on Ivysaur, so I recommend doing that if you're following me. 
uh, make sure you get get rid of bullet seed because it's not good on Ivysaur. It's only really, in my opinion, good on uh, Bellsprout and its other evolutions. So you could run it on him. But anyways, we took out our rival. Oh, rival, that's good. I'm actually happy that we were able to take him out. I thought we were gonna lose that battle here and there during that whole thing, just because we are, we're pretty low health and uh, it was looking pretty scary for us. But anyways, he's gonna talk to us one more time. And I'm actually gonna end off the episode right here. Before we do that though, he's gonna give us the fame checker, which I actually don't know what this item is. I actually didn't even know he gave us to us, so I'm gonna check this out before we actually end off the episode. Um, I'm pretty sure it's in our key items. It is a device that enables. Okay, so it's not really that cool. It just pretty much uh, shows you off the Pokemon that you have, uh, or not Pokemon, the people you have met pretty much, and then we haven't seen Bill just yet. We will see him later on in the uh, series, that's for sure. And I don't know who Daisy is. I think that might be his sister. But yeah, anyways, I'm going to end off the episode here, guys. If you did enjoy, uh, go ahead and tell me what you liked in the description down below, and also, or in the comment section down below, and also tell me stuff you didn't like. Give me some criticism so I can improve my episodes and stuff. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with a comment. Yeah.